Welcome to the Transformational Coach Podcast with me, Rona Barton, giving you competence with confidence. Welcome, lovely listener, to episode 46 of the podcast, where today we are saying no to perfectionism. How are things with you at the moment? We're through winter, thankfully, and making our way into spring. So has spring sprung with you, where you are in the world? How's life in general? How are you coping with the pandemic? How's work going for you? Hopefully you'll be able to take some time out and um, settle down, listen to the podcast in some tranquility, some peace and quiet. Or perhaps you're trying to catch snippets of it as you run around the house trying to do your cleaning, tidying and find your child's left shoe and pack a bag for them going back to school. Who knows, whatever you're doing, thank you very much for taking the time to listen. I do appreciate you being here with me. As I've said, today we are saying no to perfectionism and of course it started so well for me this episode because I recorded it and then I realised I had the wrong input selected on the recording and none of the episode had been picked up. So there's perfectionism for you. Instead of trying to kick myself and get frustrated, I just had to start again and realise that, you know what, whatever comes out, I'm sure will be good enough. So let me ask you this. What parts of you are not already perfect? You know, perfection causes dis-ease in ourselves and others. We really should, if you like, try to let go of perfectionism and learn to enjoy good enough. And for those of you that are wondering about that first question, it's a trick question. You're already perfect. Let's not start comparing ourselves to each other because we don't know what other people have been through in their lives. We don't know what they're dealing with at the moment. But you are perfect the way you are. Is perfectionism something that you struggle with? I find myself now and again, especially when I'm getting ready to present information to a a client or a potential client, spending, you know, three hours checking something in what really should only take me 20 or 30 minutes. And it's because I'm getting bogged down in making it perfect or trying to make it perfect instead of making it good enough for the event. I can always go back and tweak things and change things at a later stage once I've learned the lessons from that occasion. So how does perfectionism affect you? And those around you? And what would it be like to let go of the need to be perfect? How would that feel? For me, I think it would feel quite freeing, quite liberating. I would know that I would probably achieve more in a day if I didn't spend quite so long trying to perfect each and every aspect of the work that I'm doing. And when I think about things being good enough, I don't actually find it scary. I actually find it quite exciting because it does offer that option of liberation, of not being tied down to some form of preconceived expectation that I have set for myself and run the risk of not meeting. You know, I can often feel frustrated at trying to meet my own standards and that is when my thinking brain kicks in, gives myself a bit of a kick on the bottom and reminds me really that things do not have to be perfect. I don't need to constantly criticise myself for thinking the job I'm doing is not good enough or that I've not spent enough time or effort on a particular task. So it's taken me a while, but I begin to recognise my triggers for this 
perfectionism. And I come back to my mantra, if you like, or the the saying that I try to keep in mind, I'm looking for progress, not perfection. And quite frankly, if I struggle to meet my own standards, how on earth do I expect anybody else to live up to those standards? So I have to try not to let me get in my own way. What about you? Can you live up to your own standards? I mean, if you're thinking, what's the worst that can happen? And the answer is, you might need to redo a particular task that has been asked of you. Is that such a big deal? I mean, if we try and sort of bring back our thinking to a bit more reality. Nobody is perfect. All you can ever do is your best with the tools that you have to hand. Everybody has a bad day sometimes. Nobody is liked by everyone. And ultimately, we're all human. We all make mistakes. As adults, and as adults with perfectionism tendencies, if you like, uh, we can often be very critical of ourselves. And one of the best ways, most effective ways to overcome that perfectionism is to really replace that self-critical thinking with more realistic and helpful statements. You know, you remind yourself nobody is born an expert at the things they do. Everybody has to learn. And the way we learn is to make mistakes. You make mistakes, you realise what went wrong, you make a plan of action so that doesn't go wrong in the future. Making mistakes does not make you stupid. It doesn't make you a failure, a loser. It just means you're like everybody else. You're just human. So everybody makes mistakes. Remind yourself of that. And everybody has good days and everybody has bad days. Consider looking at the bigger picture. You know, don't get bogged down in the details. Try not to spend a lot of time worrying about, you know, the little things like what font to use in an email, for example. Ask yourself, what is the worst that could happen? And if the worst does happen, could you survive it? Will what you've done today still matter tomorrow? Or next week? Or next month? Or even next year? Does it really matter? And one of the things I remember hearing when I was growing up was today's news is tomorrow's fish and chip wrapper. So what happens today can be forgotten about very quickly. Certainly by other people. You might continue to beat yourself up for it because you think it wasn't perfect. But what exactly are you willing to tolerate in terms of imperfection? You know, would you be happy to show up for an appointment 15 minutes late? Or when you've got visitors coming to your house, when we eventually get back to that way of life, would you be happy having a corner of the living room a little bit messy and having them see it? What about, you know, wearing a top that's got a visible stain on it, perhaps a splatter of toothpaste, for example? What about if you were to lose your train of thought during a presentation or send out an email or a letter that might have a typo in it? You know, how much of these imperfections are you willing to tolerate? Have a think about it. And remember, as we said earlier, nobody is born an expert. So if you're trying to beat perfectionism, chances are you won't be perfect at it first time. 
you're going to have to practice. You know, just like it says on the shampoo bottle, lather, rinse, repeat. Practice, practice, practice. Reward yourself when you get it right. This is hard work that you're doing. You know, if you're trying to break a habit of a lifetime, it's hard work. So set out some small rewards for yourself. You know, whatever you want that to be. A treat to help motivate yourself. That might include taking a walk. You're probably doing a lot of that during lockdown and pandemic. Um, When we're through this, it might mean finally going out for a nice meal with family, with friends, or it might just be taking some time to pamper yourself. You know, you've been putting aside a nice bottle of wine to enjoy and you reward yourself with a glass of that at the end of the week. Whatever it is, don't beat yourself up if it's not exactly as you expect it to be. You're still learning. We're looking for progress. And let's face it, would you rather be perfect or would you rather be free and liberated? Let me know what you think. As ever, please contact me. Feel free to drop over an email social media contacts or even visit the website ronabarton.co.uk. Let me know your thinking and I will be back next week and we'll be starting on a new topic or relationships with self, our lives and others. Um, I'm also thinking it's been a while since we did a bit of a a guided meditation so I might have a look out and see what I've got um, to help with that. But as ever, look after yourself, take care, stay safe, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.